Thank you for joining me at Anahita TV. Today I have a wonderful guest. I'm really excited to introduce you to Amir Pakru. He has had an amazing life. At 18, he was diagnosed with some detrimental illness, but he was able to overcome it. And stay tuned, you'll hear why and how. 35 years later, he's here. He's had a wonderful life and he's here to share with us his secrets. Thank you friends for joining me at Anahita TV. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a very special friend of mine. He's our first guest for Anahita TV, and I'm really excited to have him here. He has a wonderful story, and I can't wait to share it with you. Welcome, Amir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Sure, anytime. <laughs> uh, thank you for inviting me. This is Amir Pakru, and uh, I wanted to share my story. Uh, what do you want to know first? <laughs> well, one of the things that really impressed me with you is the fact that you became a musician and you're self-taught and how many instruments have you learned so far oh uh, almost 10 instruments wow but i took classes for those some of them then uh, half of them you know i learned by myself because uh, i knew the way of uh, learning and notes and everything Wonderful. Sure. I, I really love um, the flutes, the different types of flutes that you play, and uh, some of it is very dear to me because it's kind of like ancestral music for me, and it's it's very soothing uh, to the to the ear. Um, yeah, today I brought some instrument that uh, uh, not many people play this in here. Uh, I could bring, you know, a clarinet, saxophone, stuff like that. But uh, many play, many people, you know, play those. So I brought something uh, specific, you know, uh, unique instruments like bamboo flute. Yeah, and that's uh, the one I was talking about. You yeah, play the this is yeah, bacteria profession. music. Yeah, that's well, right. for my ancestral, and that's like thousands of years old, which is impressive. Sure. So I really appreciate that you brought all these unique no instruments. To today I brought uh, four different instruments. Four different Tambourine, ones. flute and ney and tar. Tar. Um, would you mind playing a little bit? Of course. Which one do you want? Uh, whichever you like to go first. Definitely. <laughs> Let me use this microphone.
wow wow that was really impressive thank you it brings back so many memories childhood memories my parents used to play these traditional song really sunday morning you know that yeah they played it every single sunday and woke us up and made us clean the house so that was that was our family tradition yeah it was this instrument is yeah as an old instrument the first instrument actually a human human being created and found it uh, bamboo nay it's a very spiritual uh, instrument it is and a lot of uh, ancient customs have it i think uh, indian Amer american indians have it yes and, uh, yes the aztec have it yeah there's a yeah. lot of cultures i'm probably missing some but i think a lot of cultures it's a very cultural instrument thank you so much for playing that you're welcome and no what really um, interests me about you is that you've overcome so much in your in your life. One of the things uh, that you know um, we talked about one time, I think in passing, that you at 18 you were diagnosed with something, um, some illness that was very detrimental. The doctor gave you only a few months to live. Can you share with our audience how you overcame such an Definitely, yeah, sure. Yeah, what the illness was and how you overcame. Um. Sure, no problem. Uh, it's a long story, actually. <laughs> and uh, uh, it started like this, that I had to go to a doctor to uh, give blood for the people who go to uh, the war a long time ago. Okay. And they asked me, oh, you cannot do it. You have uh, some problems. So I checked myself and uh, I found out I have a uh, heart disease and some other problems because I was doing too much exercise and lean of sports. Wow. Uh, yes, and uh, uh, in, in a wrong way. Yeah. So You uh, were overusing your body. Exactly. You were doing too much. Okay. I thought, you know, I'm very powerful at that time, so uh, I was doing it too much. And uh, uh, I was going to do surgery and uh, I make it very short actually and uh, my brother asked me you know uh, do it uh, in a vegetarian way and, you know become natural a, yeah a raw vegetarian so uh, test yourself I said no it's not gonna work he asked me just do it for one week and uh, see how it goes so okay I started and it really affected and uh, I liked it and I continued uh, for seven months. For seven months. Wow, yeah. that's and a long uh, time for a raw vegan. Exactly. Was it difficult? Uh, it was in the beginning, but I got used to it. At that time, uh, if they would ask me, you know, just uh, eat soil, then you <laughs> get back to normal. <laughs> I would do it. You would. Do as far as you know, a lot of beautiful uh, nature uh, products, fruits, Natural. vegetables. Yeah. Nice. I used those, uh, and uh, after four months, uh, I had sinus, it was gone. Your sinus was Shoulder issues? problem and knee problem. It was gone yeah, after, after four, four months? Yeah, after four months. Wow. Yeah, I had the uh, hernia. Okay. It was gone uh, after wow. three months, and the heart disease went away uh, after seven months. Wow, that's, yeah. that's amazing. And you yeah. said the doctor only gave you two months to live before yeah. that? Yeah. Wow. He asked me, you know, you live two months, you know, it's very bad, you know, you got to do surgery. And I had an appointment to do that, to do wow. the surgery. But I canceled but you didn't. it. Good for you. Yeah. This uh, is amazing. Because it was right about 35 years ago. So I got my second chance living. At life. So yeah. So I really uh, enjoyed my days and, uh, you know, moments better than before. So this, this made you realize the importance of life. Yes. Yeah, and how wonderful it is to, it is. we have this, you know, I heard something today that was amazing. Someone was saying that, um, you know, we don't really own anything. Right. Especially our bodies. We are mm -hmm. here, we, we don't even own it. We don't own our bodies because it's temporary. That's you know, we're, right. giving su we're given such a short time. And uh, you are basically a great example of how to, uh, as they say, make lemonade when life gives you lemons. Because you were definitely handed a bad hand at 18. You were diagnosed with a rare heart disease that, and you were told that you're going to die basically in two months unless you have surgery. 
Right. But you took your life in your hand and you became exactly. a raw vegan. Right. We talked about that. I think you said one of the important things, you know, I don't want people to go out and do raw vegan right away. They need to check with a doctor. You had people helping you. You said there was a yeah. restaurant and, or the owner was someone who was trained in this field and he helped you with different uh, menus. And w could right. you describe one of the breakfast or something that cr was Definitely. protein? Of course. Before that, uh, you know, if you go to a doctor, for example, if you say, you know, have uh, this disease, I wanted to become a raw vegetarian, was suggested. Uh, what do you think? Most doctors, you know, uh, they say, no, it's yeah. not good. You know, medicine is going to work better, stuff like that. Uh, but uh, um, because uh, they haven't tried it, you know, it's not yeah. that they're it's uh, not their specialty they yeah, were you know not exactly. all doctors are bad I, I agree Thank with you. you doctors are great but it's not their specialty they exactly. were trained with medicine so when That's they what I was gonna say. yeah so when you know so you suggest vegetables they're like yeah. oh my god like that's food because it's so abundant yeah we but i think food is medicine and um, that's how the world should view food from now on exactly and the first doctor you know when i was uh, starting this diet uh, my doctor was uh, making fun of me. Hey, uh, <laughs> it's not gonna work, you know. And you know, wow. you better, you know, go and surgery. I said no. I, I just want to try it and see how it goes. You know, I like yeah. that. It's no harm done. Uh, I was going and get checkup, you know, every month. Yeah. And uh, heart and uh, echo and uh, X-ray, everything. And the doctor was wondering, you know, how fast I'm getting back to wow. normal. And after that, after seven months, he believed it. I said, wow, I didn't know. Uh, he was the best doctor at that time. Yeah. Uh, and hospital. you proved him wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gave him a new uh, new way, new yeah. uh, understanding of how food can be medicine. I taught him. <laughs> you taught him. <laughs> Good job. Good for you. And so how did it affect you? I feel like um, you said when when you realized at 18 that you had you know not long to live that must have you know when you went to bed at night what did you think about yeah it was uh, it was very scary and uh, i thought you know why should i you know live this beautiful world this soon so yeah. i wanted to use it you know enjoy it uh, was the best way anyway i was lucky i think god helped me good i'm <laughs> glad you had you know because Second you know I second chance chance yeah but because it was 35 years ago you said and uh at the time raw veganism wasn't even very popular exactly. so i commend you for taking that chance and right. uh doing it that way and at that time before i forget uh there were uh many people around me mm -hmm. so uh i had uh, you know books mm -hmm. and some um people who really knew you know what they're doing and helping me to restaurants you know and we could uh, share our experience together yeah and uh, we got a lot of information and hopes and that helped uh, I think if someone wants to do it by themselves you know uh, it's gonna be a little bit hard unless you know if they search on computer they go to uh, you know get the information and yeah. you know so uh, they got to be aware, you know, what to yeah. eat and uh, how to chew. You know, chewing is very important. Yeah, you said that one time. You have to chew a lot. A lot. And yeah, that's very important. How long to eat an apple? I think you told me last time yeah, and I was like... At 10, 15 minutes. Really? One and apple, uh, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, uh, we shouldn't mix, uh, you know, uh, fruits and everything too much. You know, okay. some, some fruits go uh, better with others, you know what I mean? So... Uh, I was uh, kind of like a mono single. diet, yeah, mono one diet. item at a time, and then yeah. maybe let your body observe the nutrients of that yeah. item uh, of that fruit. That was one of them. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I was combining some uh, vegetables or fruits together when they if they go together. You know, okay. for example, watermelon and banana doesn't don't go together. Okay, it's like hot and cold. Right. Banana is hot. Well, watermelon is uh, yeah, cold. Yeah, the quality wise, they. You know, texture yeah, the uh, texture. Uh, okay, uh, that's interesting. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> There's so sure. much to learn. <laughs> well, I'm so glad you're here to sure. tell our viewers of and uh, <laughs> share with us. Thank you for inviting. And uh, so, by the time you were in your 30s, you said you decided you wanted to live life and, yeah. and go all out. So, what made you change? You know, 
have this epiphany? Uh, I realized that you know, as far as you know, I got my second chance living, you know, so I wanted to use it as much as I can, you know, I wanted to learn uh, anything is around me, you know, music, sport and everything. Uh, so I learned, learned, I took classes, you know, yoga, uh, tai chi, and uh, tennis, ping pong, you know, and so uh, I was, uh, you know, challenging myself and learning a lot of instruments and uh, I got married three kids and everything <laughs> you know, very three beautiful normal. healthy kids yeah, yeah. traveled I came to America from Iran wow it was a very exciting uh, it's a long story but uh, I made it short for you <laughs> 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 thank you yeah thank you so much for doing that sure. uh, sharing your life story with me and with our viewers I think we can learn a lot from you yeah. uh, we learned that you know never give up but even if the doctor says two months that's yeah. it and the you s you're here imagine 35 years later yeah, imagine that was uh, the story of just uh, one person in the whole world nowadays you know life is so um, uh, unvaluable you know very cheap yeah. and they don't you know, respect uh, you know him a human being that's and true. they mm -hmm, take it as a joke and it's very bad yeah you're right. Yeah, we need to respect human life uh, way more. Yeah, uh, definitely. One person, you know, can have a long story and, you know, living, you know, very nice like this and experiencing. But uh, nowadays, uh, many people, because of the uh, COVID-19, uh, they're, uh, you know, living this beautiful world. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We're in a very unfortunate time right now, but... Uh, That's very sad. Yeah. And uh, that's why we're here. We're here to give Each hope. Each one of us, you know, had a long story of living, you know, memories, you know, parents, uh, friends, experiencing, and uh, it's uh, very hard, you know, yeah. uh, die soon. <laughs> yeah, I hope I hope everybody stays healthy yes. and we get to enjoy this I beautiful world. I hope everything is getting back to normal. I hope. Yeah. They're Hopefully they're working, soon. Yeah. They're working so hard. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So, what instrument do you have for us next? Okay. Uh, now uh, let me play uh, tar. Okay. So actually, string instrument, uh, guitar actually came. Uh, the guitar uh, came from the tar. From the tar, yes. Yeah, and so this uh, was the, the tar first is a string instrument, was yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, and this is a Persian instrument, mm -hmm. first of all and uh, six and uh, six string and uh, we can play any songs with this you know like uh, uh, traditional and uh, uh, any modern. other modern can you play yeah. us can you do both a little bit sure. of uh, traditional and followed by a Different. something modern yeah, play a little bit traditional okay wow Thank you 
so much for sharing. No problem. And what is the white flute? What is that instrument? That is a kind <laughs> of flute that uh, I actually uh, received it from a friend. And uh, it looks like a PVC pipe, isn't it? Yeah, PVC pipe. Really? Uh, yes. One of my friends was Tahir God bless his soul. And he gave it to me and he was playing this instrument so nice. Wow. Um, I play uh, minor. <coughs> uh, and uh, I remember he was playing this song. Uh, so I try to okay. play this Thank and you. show you how it sounds. <coughs> <laughs> So this uh, is you want to play for building <laughs> material. <You'd laughs> yeah, I don't know PVC. if I can. <laughs> <laughs> close. I don't know. Close, but no cigar. <laughs> um, so this, you know, I can even see the serial number of the PVC pipe. Yeah. This is amazing. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to, you know, being creative. I think humanity were also creative, and at this time during, uh, you know, the quarantine, a lot of people are staying home and right. they're saying they're bored. How could you get bored? This is our ancestors building, making these right. things. I can't. I mean, I understand. I mean, I don't want to get into the politics of the situation, but I think um, we depend too much on the outside. Right. And all we have to do is with you, like you, you meditate, you um, do Tai Chi and other than playing all these amazing, beautiful instruments, you know, you, you were able to pick yourself up. And instead of saying, why me, you overcame a lot of the things that we, th you know, we think it's so hard in life. Like myself, I don't play an instrument. I find it difficult. I took classes with you. <laughs> yes. I tried to learn uh, sitar. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, you know, I'm still trying to master those chords sure. you taught me. <laughs> it's not very. You are easy. doing good, actually. Thank you. You're very sweet. But um, yeah, I'm just. Uh, I just want to share that with our audience that you know they can do anything. Anything is possible. That's right. And uh, to not imagine ourselves in the confines of what society says mm -hmm. or your teacher. Or, I mean, I love teachers. I teach too. But like people who try to limit you yeah. don't get, you don't feel limited. Unlimited. You know, that's, yeah, yeah, we are so unlimited mm -hmm. and there's so much to do. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Always this is learning. also yeah. what? Bamboo? Bamboo flute. Flute. Someone this is the hardest in the instrument to play. It's a very difficult yeah. instrument. It's you very put interesting. It, um, I learned in the upper lip, into with the, the teeth, in the tooth, like right? That. Yeah, it goes into the uh, front tooth. Yeah, this is how creative humanity is. You just put that and inside your if tooth. And you blow into it, doesn't no do sound. anything. You should create the sound. You should create. Mm -hmm. Wow, I love that. <coughs> you create the sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This was <coughs> uh, okay. actually... Uh, Your uh, thing is still on. Right, it's okay. Uh, from, uh, you know, one point, one hole, we can create, you know, five different sounds. Wow. Yeah, without moving any finger. There's uh, five different sounds? Yeah. And the 
the combination of all of these make the sound. Wow. So you made five sounds with that, just with the different breath. Right. Breath work. With, yes. As you were holding spot. everything. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Down. Wow, that was great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. There is a song that I really love. It's uh, it's like a bacterian song. I should have set up with you. Know you. The I name think of it? It's in Lori. It's like it's with that song. You played it with, uh, before. Mm -hmm. You played it. I love that song. Yes. <laughs> it's a nice song, actually. Yeah, like with the blues. Song. Do you remember it? Yes. Can you play it? <laughs> Just for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, a in uh, it's in our <laughs> Tell me about your sports. What kind of sports? You're very active. Uh, one right. of the things, what's your morning ritual? Yeah, actually, uh, I uh, instruct yoga. Oh, wow. Yeah, different style. Uh, I have a special uh, way style. It's yotai. As far as you know, I learned tai chi, so I combine them together. And uh, I play ping pong almost every day. Wow. Tennis. A uh, few times a week. Very nice. And uh, yes, and other sports too, but uh, these four are my major sport. Your major, the the ones you play yeah. the most every day. Okay, very nice. Yeah, I've actually seen you. You're very good with tai chi. Thank you. I've seen Thank you, you. Uh, uh, at tai chi. I wish we could have enough time for you <laughs> to sure. do that for us one, one day. Time maybe <laughs> I'm gonna dress up, you know, do the tai chi <laughs> form with my master here. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And what is the other instrument you brought for us to? I brought tambourine. Actually, it's we call it daf. Daf in Farsi. Yeah. yeah. I love that instrument. It's very unique. And this is uh, made from uh, animal skin. Animal skin, but as far as I'm um, against killing animals, you know, I bought uh, you know an artificial. It's an artificial. Yeah. Oh, nice. But it looks like. <laughs> I've never learned this. Got the chains. Oh, and wow. this is a very spiritual uh, oh, Sufi, Sufi dancing. Beautiful. Sama. Yeah. Yeah, this is bass, this is a uh, regular. Oh, that's bass. Yeah. Okay. entices some emotion yes uh, this uh, normally Sufism play this and dance with it we dance with it yeah, yeah it made me want to get up and dance <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sure. it was beautiful thank you uh, this yeah. is just uh, a normal that's it that was bass this is something <laughs> So I just want to tell the viewers how wonderful you are and how you took you know, a bad situation that happened to you at a very young age. Instead of saying, why me? You changed your entire life 
you became even more curious. You help, you know, with the advice of your brother and family members. You cure, you you know, you you cured yourself That's by right. just a, you know, just eating regular things in in the fridge, which just <laughs> vegetables and fruits <laughs> and <laughs> and different types of beans as protein. You know, I think we talked about. You said that you were making protein uh, from from beans from right. uh, sprouted beans, mm. and so just anything is possible and then look at you look what you have learned exactly and so. uh, all these amazing instruments and and then recently you said you started a new instrument yes uh, I started violin Do it's you been take about this off? yes it's been about uh, less than a year I learned uh, violin uh, nowadays I play violin I play keyboard for singers Wow for myself I have one man show you know I go to parties you know DJ beside you know and uh, play <laughs> keyboard and sing Wow and it's very interesting for me each one of those instruments are uh, very exciting for me I have a music uh, room mm -hmm. all the instruments hang and you know I have freedom when I go to the room I take one in instrument and play you know, it's mm -hmm. very interesting I love it and uh, yes, uh, it comes from, uh, you know, our power of mind. Uh, yeah. So whatever we wanted to do, we got to use, you know, uh, our mind into it and get what we want. I love that message. Thank you. That's, sure. that's an amazing, uh, you know, way to end the show. Yes, each one of us are very powerful. Very powerful. I gotta really remember that. Yes. Yeah. What an amazing story. I'm so blessed to have had Amir Pakru here. I hope he was an inspiration to you as he was to me. Basically, he taught us that we can take control of our minds as well as our health. It's all in your hands, friends. Please like and subscribe. I hope to see you here next time. Bye-bye.